Welcome back. This is how the farmhouse looked when we moved in back in November 2005. There were two small solar panels and two lorry batteries on the roof, which supplied power for one light for one hour. Any other power required, you would have to put the generator on. As soon as was possible in 2006, we had a solar system fitted tailored to our needs. Eight 170 watt panels, 12 2.2 volt deep cycle lead acid batteries, one 24 volt inverter charger, two charge controllers, one for each set of four panels, and a heavy duty inline fuse for the positive cable between the batteries and the inverter charger. Once we decided on the pool we were having, we took the specifications of the electrical side of the installation to the solar company, and in early 2007, four more panels and a third charge controller were fitted for the extra demand. In 2008, having been called by the solar company, we agreed to have three tracking poles installed. The panels were removed from the roof in August 2008, and four panels fitted to each tracker. The trackers follow the sun in 12 movements during the day, which means more direct sunlight to the panels equals greater charging, which equals more stored electricity available. In 2016, the lead acid batteries began to fail and were replaced with four 12 volt, 200 amp hour sealed deep cycle batteries. They were, if I got this right, connected in pairs and then parallel to give 24 volt, 400 amp hour, almost the same as the old batteries. The two original small panels are placed outside the generator room and connected through a charge controller to the generator battery. No need to replace the alternator now. As you can see, the redundant racks are still on the roof and they can stay there until I find them another use. The trackers sit dormant facing due south. You can see them waking up and moving to the east ready for sun up and will slowly move to the west in 12 stages during the day and after sundown back to due south. We have had to replace the batteries and one charge controller. We took those replacement costs, divided that by the months the batteries lasted, and our electricity has cost us around 19 euros a month. Brilliant. Wait a minute, I hear you say. What about the installation cost? We wrote that off, because the cost of bringing electricity to our area and installing was quoted at a much greater cost than the solar. As a side note, electricity came to our area in late 2014 and we declined the installation. Until next time, goodbye.